Hello and a warm welcome back. As you see over here what I have done is I have placed my smartphone just alongside the laptop webcam. The picture quality in the smartphone is definitely much better compared to the picture quality in the webcam. It's brighter, it has real to life colors compared to the laptop webcam which has a more pixelated uh, picture quality and it's also quite grainy. So today we'll learn how you can use your smartphone camera as the laptop webcam. Well, now we'll explore the simple settings that we need to follow to make sure that we're using the smartphone camera as the laptop webcam. We have two options to, to do this. One is using Wi-Fi and second using the USB cable of your smartphone. So let's uh, dive in directly. I'll get to my phone here. First, what you need to do is you need to download an app called DroidCam, D-R-O-I-D-C-A-M. This is the app which I have already downloaded on my phone. So I can either open it from here or I could just open it from the gallery. When I open it and it shows me that I'm connected using Wi-Fi, I also see that from the drop-down notification that I'm on Wi-Fi and I also have the app installed on my laptop. Here's the site. I have saved links for the download in the description of this video. So I'll just go ahead and I'll open the app on the, on the laptop. Make sure that Wi-Fi, the first option is selected. You also just need to make sure that the IP address on the phone and on the laptop are exactly the same and then we go ahead and click on start here that's all we need to do and now you'll notice that what you see in the mobile is also what you see in the laptop so even if i rotate the screen it just takes what is in the mobile uh, frame that's the first option now let's explore the second option which is connection via usb so first of all, I can turn off the Wi-Fi and what I'll do is the USB cable is connected to my laptop. I'll connect the other end to my smartphone. I'll go to settings, about phone. Again, this may vary depending upon the brand of Android you're using. You need to go to build in number and click on that five to six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'll have the pattern, so you'll just unlock it. And now we have developer option enabled. So basically we need to enable developer option. So over here now we have developer option, which was not there previously. I'll go into that and I need to enable USB debugging. I get a message, I say okay. Come out of this and again, what I'll do is I'll open the Droid Cam app on my phone. Again, the same thing also on the laptop. I'll open Droid Cam. I'll click on USB and I'll hit refresh here. I get this message of allow USB. So I'll hit OK. I may get it a couple of times. What I need to ensure here is that the phone name or the device name should be displayed on the message on the screen. So here we have the phone name which is showing correctly. So again what I need to do is again just click on start and it will be enabled. Yes, here we have it once again and this time we are connected using USB. So again if I move it around, uh, you can see whatever is in the viewfinder of the camera. Alright, here we are now on the laptop and let's change the default camera and zoom so that we can use the laptop camera. So I have opened the zoom app, I'll go to settings, video and you'll see here that it's using the droid cam. It has created two instances but both give the same output and this is the integrated webcam. So you'll see the difference in the picture quality and the pixelation in the, the webcam but uh, Nothing such in the cam of the smartphone camera. 
So I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. Try this uh, wonderful tip out for your Zoom meetings and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Keep tuned to get such more uh, videos to enhance your digital life. Take care.